I recently had my genome sequenced, and chances are that one day each of you will too. The sequencing of the first human genome in 2003 was a much celebrated milestone in the biological sciences. Today, we no longer have one genome sequence, but tens of thousands. Once we begin to combine genomic and health information on large populations of individuals, the hope is that we will advance medical science. To accelerate this process of discovery, tonight's award recipients founded an organization whose goal is to establish the framework for responsible sharing of genomic and health information across research groups. Some have likened this effort to the development of the World Wide Web, whose founder, Tim Berners-Lee, established a similar consortium to promote the compatibility of HTML versions. Just like the World Wide Web, the ability to seamlessly share data between researchers will ensure the growth and sustainability of the field of personalized medicine. It's particularly impressive that this organization has garnered over 200 member institutions active in more than 30 countries agreeing to participate in this international alliance. These members recognize that in order to maximize the potential of the human genome, some basic infrastructure and rules need to be established. Tonight's award celebrates this simple yet profound step to integrate and standardize the way we share genomic and health data now and for the future. It celebrates the courageous scientists and organizations who see beyond their own competing interests in order to advance the field. I'm honored to present this year's Champion of Hope in Collaboration in Science Award to David Altshuler and Peter Goodhand on behalf of the organization that they founded, the Global Alliance for Genomics and Health. Wow, it was an amazing night. Peter and I are honored to be here tonight and to accept this award on behalf of the Global Alliance for Genomics and Health. Many of you are pioneers in rare disease and we are eager to learn from you and to partner with you. The Global Alliance is a new nonprofit launched last year. Our mission is to accelerate progress in human health by establishing shared framework of harmonized approaches that enable effective and responsible sharing of genomic and clinical data. The convergence of genome sequencing and information technologies offers truly remarkable opportunities to advance progress in rare genetic diseases as well as cancer and common diseases. But this potential will only be reached if we can learn from the data. There is now little doubt that such data will be collected from millions of people but based on the experience of U.S. electronic medical records, there is substantial doubt that the community will organize to maximize learning with the needs of individuals, families, and progress as a guide. We believe that innovation, the path to innovation lies in open interoperable standards, not only technical, but regulatory and ethical as well. Our goal is that families and patients are at the center of an ecosystem, deciding for themselves what to share and what to keep private, with clinical practice and research powerfully accelerated by information that's broad and deep about the genetic basis of disease. I want to close by thanking my friend Brad Margus. As many of you know, Brad is a successful businessman and father of two sons with ataxia telangiectasia, Jarrett and Quinn. Brad has put everything he has behind helping families with AT, his business activities, his philanthropy, his time, and his energy. He's now planning a forward-looking study for AT families that has the potential not only to advance that disease, but also offer a template for how such studies can be done in any disease. I'm inspired by Brad, I'm inspired by what I just heard here a minute ago, and all of you here today, and I thank you for giving us the chance to be here with you tonight. First of all, I'd like to acknowledge the colleagues we have in the Global Alliance who you are honoring with this award. We've been led from the beginning by David and a dozen other volunteer leaders. More recently, we've engaged over 150 volunteer experts in our working groups, our project teams, 
and our task teams. We are 222 partner organizations from 30 countries. And those 220 partners include research, healthcare, funders, patient and disease advocacy organizations, life science and technology companies. Like you, we believe in collaborative, inclusivity, and being global in order to make real progress in real time. We are working on better standards, tools, interoperability, but we're doing that in the knowledge that it's also in critically important to change culture, and that may in fact be the more difficult task. We believe that promoting and enabling responsible sharing of genomic and clinical data is critical if we're to make a real difference for all of you and live up to the expectations you rightly have of us. At both our Global Alliance face-to-face -face meetings to date, Brad and others have brought that patient and family voice home to every one of our partners. They brought that voice loud and clear. That voice resonates with me at a very personal level because for 12 years I was a caregiver, a navigator, an advocate for my family as it faced a rare disease. It was a rare cancer. It was one in two million people. Collectively, we are driven by our belief that we can make a real difference for all of you in this room and for the 350 million people around the world. We will do everything we can do to be worthy recipients of this tremendous honor. Thank you.